guys, this is ZB Gaming with a new part of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 3 Warped. Um, now we are going to go, um, New World 2, uh, Level 2, Under Pressure. This is our underwater level, and I hate uh, the water levels. Uh, I will attempt getting all the boxes, but in my practice run, I do have a practice file because I don't really feel like looking at it. Looking like an idiot with the unexpected things in this let's play. Because I want to actually look good for this let's play. So, whatever. But I missed one box. Probably one that was right over my nose, but I didn't notice it. And hopefully, I can just pick up this time. Oh no. This level can get a little frustrating. You're not perfect. Because it's like it does get start to get a little crowded later in the level. So I'm getting a little bit of lag, I don't like lag. Hopefully I'll be able to do more than one level in this part, like the first, unlike the first part. I got about a, a little more than a third of the boxes right now. Oh, that's right, circle. There's like speed you up. It'll do that little dash. Why not? Let's destroy that guy because those things do get annoying. And there's nothing you can do to prevent from that thing blowing up. It is supposed to blow up there. I'm doing a lot better than in my practice run. I got my ass kicked in the practice run. This part's a little challenging. Get over here and kill it. I just don't like it. I think there's another one over here we gotta watch out for. You always wanna take it slow, but it's a little hard because you have to, after you like tap it, it'll keep on going. You gotta be constantly turning, which is really loose turning in this. Noiny noin wampa fruit. They turn into stone. Oh yeah, I got them all. They turn into all the metal crate, which I don't think you can break after that. Well, even with this little missile shooter thing. So I will just try my best. But this metal level's done. Got the jam too. I got two out of the five gems, even though I'm not trying to get them. Now we got our first Coco level. Um, if you did not know, Coco is Crash Bandicoot's sister. Um, there are quite a few levels with her. Most of them I find aggravating. But this is actually one of the ones that are fun. You just ride around on um, this tiger. Um, this tiger's name is Pura. I'm pretty sure. Oh. 
Oopsies. Oh, don't want to go through there. Oh. Now you can press a square and circle buttons and you all um, go faster like this. But then I don't need to. Unless you get impatient, which I do a lot. But then if you go too fast, it's easy to miss a box and stuff like I just did right there. So suicide, I want to get them all. I did it again. That's going to be a little challenging. Ah, okay, one more try. There we go. There we go. Uh, dude, dude. Oh, good. Checkpoint! You think I'm gonna get them all? I don't know, I'll find out. I mean, I was close, I almost landed on that. If I did, it would have thrown me off on to be able to get those, so I'd have to kill myself again. Doesn't matter, I got 15 lives. It's only the very beginning of the game, too. But, there's all the boxes, and I finished the level with the crystal, too. And they get a little cute. But there's, um, other levels with Coco. Uh, you will see them. Who actually debuted in this game, in this series, and now in the second game, Crash Bandicoot 2, you could have saw her in the beginning of the pitsy and the very end cutscene 2. I think. Yeah, and during the cutscenes with the, um, intercom thing. How do we have here? I forget. Oh, yes. Um, I will not be able to complete this one in three minutes. So in the next part of Let's Play Crash Bandicoot 3, we will do level 4, Boneyard. So, see you later.